Back on Falling the Players Team Games for fun. Today we are jumping back into the Horde Survival Action Roguelike Bandwagon because Holocure just came out yesterday, which is a free fan game. Holocure saved the fans. And in this game, the story behind it is a dark force manipulated the fans of the VTubers and we have to you know, destroy this dark force, but of course we have to fight those fans first. How else we can, you know, save them? Let's read out the official Steam description and then jump right into the game because this sounds a funny one to me. Play as your favorite VTubers from Hololive. Fight, explore and clear your way through armies of fans and save them from their mind control in this unofficial free fan game. Awesome! What else do we need? VTubers, fans, free fan game. Let's, you know, jump right into the game without reading anything else and see the characters. I don't know any of them, if they resemble any, you know, real VTuber. Sorry, I, I don't know any, unfortunately. But I like animes and mangas, so let's see. We are going to choose purely on who looks the, you know, the best. Amelia Watson, Pistol Shot, Garagura, Trident Trust, sounds really cool. Ninoma Ina Inanis, um, Tentacle, of course. Uh, Takanashi Kiara, Phoenix Sword, and we have someone, I cannot read, Mori Ka Kali Kaliope, Kali Kaliope, Side Swings, and it seems like bunch of characters we can unlock, you know, Trident, just, you know, sounds really great, mid-range, stab attack in front, choose mode, stage mode or endless mode, you know, let's go with stage mode, this is this is the normal version, and the endless is of course the grindy one, uh, oh, we can unlock different stages, cool, grassy plains, here we go, it's going to be a blast, ooh, nice. And the music is uh, really bouncy. Wow. Okay, one hit. Okay, that's uh, the game is just definitely exactly what I thought. Cool music, uh, fun mechanics. Oh, and we can. Oh, it's interesting. And now we can spin around with the mouse, and also we can uh, control the attack. So the character is basically going to hit where it faces. But if I press down the, you know, the left mouse button, there's a little crosshair that we can, you know, spin around. Let's see. Short height. Grants a 15% chance to dodge an attack. After dodging, increase its movement speed by 30% and stay invulnerable for 0.50 seconds. Sounds really great. Gain a shield that absorbs up to 15 damage every 15 seconds. This shield refreshes, also reduces damage taken by 10%. Body pillow, okay. Try then trust, increase damage by 20%, gain 1% crit buff every second up to 10%. If taking damage by a target, lose uh, lose half the buff. If eating food, plus 5% critical for, for, for 10 seconds. Eee, sounds cool. How about body pillow? Let's get some nice defense. Just, you know, just to start the game with. So we can kill a bunch of monsters at the same time. Or are they fans? No, they are not fans. They are, but I mean, can skeletons be VTuber fans? Of course they can. Why, why wouldn't they? Okay, trust on glow stick. Throw a glow stick to nearby target and then spin back to player. Awesome. Repair targets with orbiting BL, BL book. And uh, spider cooking. Create an area of miasma around, dealing slow damage to targets inside. Spider cooking, of course, because we love uh, slowed enemies. Fast trident attacks, slowed enemies, you know, great combination. The music is just insanely bangy, it's really cool. Okay, level 3. Short height, we know this, spider cooking. Nurse's horn. Okay, when defeating a target, there is a 30% chance to lifesteal 2 HP. If taking a hit while HP is less than 15%, there's a chance to heal 40%, 20%, sorry. Uh, and the body pillow, okay, nurse's horn, of course, we need them. Are they getting at it visually? I mean, seems like this is small horn uh, on the head of my character. Maybe it was by there, well, it, it was there by default, not sure. 
Okay. Cool. I just really like fan games. I really like how creative people can be. You know, making cool stuff. Pretty sure that's going to be better and, uh, you know, has, uh, you know, better ratings than uh, Overwatch 2. And defeating a target, yes, we know this glow stick hollow bomb. A bomb that explodes dealing damage to all nearby targets or the trident damage. You know, let's just increase the trident damage because this is our main attack. Although it's interesting that if you choose a new skill, you level up, uh, and you still have the in the mouse button hold down, it won't uh, let you target stuff. You have to press it again. Not a big thing, just I like to pick up, pick up oh, games apart, you know, that's my job. Increase your pickup range, awesome one. Power of Atlantis. Every 10 seconds create a whirlpool that draws in targets and takes 15% uh, more damage, lasting 6 seconds to deal, and deals 30% damage every 0.5 seconds. Repel the target with the uh, Bia box. Uh, sure, why not, just for the sake of fun and because it's... Uh, oh, hi, destroy a... Yagu statue. Yagu? I'm not sure. Maybe it's some insane stuff. Uh, let me know what is a Yagu. I do speak a little Japanese, but I'm pretty sure that's uh, not something I should know because of this. Cool one. Great animations. Really nice chibi-like characters. Cool graphics. What else do we need? I don't know. More time to play games like this. Why cannot be, you know, they be like 48 hours? Headphones, let's see what headphones does. 15% chance to negate one hit and create a shockwave that knock back all targets. Yes, please. Oh no, it's not getting at it visually. That's unfortunately not a good thing, but of course I know that would be much, much harder to do. Maybe down the road they will do it and visual upgrades will, you know, add it to the game. But you know, it doesn't really matter, just uh, could have been a really nice extra. The targeting system is really cool, to be honest. I really like it. Psycho X. Pro an X that uh, spirals outward from the player. Of course we need a Psycho X. Wow. So now we are doing brutal AoE with the uh, Bia box and uh, Psycho X. That's just, that's just great. All healing is doubled, full meal. Uh, Psycho X. Yeah, sure, why not? Then we will do some uh, dodgy dodge stuff as well with the short heights. Wow. Are those fans as well? I'm not sure about this. They look like some kind of uh, huffy puffy creatures. Not sure. Okay, let's see what's inside. Delivery Hor Holozone. Which. No, come on. Let's see what's inside before I smack my coffee down. Super sake. Okay, gain 40% crit, but your aiming direction becomes slightly unstable. Ooh, okay. Lucky day. Slightly unstable. Wow. Cool. It's really interesting that every game has like a uh, slightly anime style. It has banger music, like Crush the Industry was, the, you know, the same, the same example. It was a really cool, really cool music in there. We have to, co uh, you know, continue that game sometimes. Okay, Shark Bite uh, attack have a 10% chance to place one bite mark maximum five, but targets take six percent more damage and have a 20% chance to heal you when defeated. Of course. We need all the, you know, all the lifesteal, all the healing stuff, thanks to damage. We, we will choose it, because why not? The trident is a really cool, really cool item. And uh, what I like is, that although the trident is a two-handed weapon in this game, it's a really fast one, by default. So I'm not a big fan of two-handed weapons, because they are slow. But now, this is not the case. So, I am really happy. Can we? Oh, okay. Ooh, we took damage. Damn it. Psycho X is doing a great job. But there's a boss or elite. Let's try to get it down because then we get the holozone stuff. 
Nice amount of healing, by the way. I really like it. Part of Atlantis. You know, let's go with a Nurse Horn, so we will get more bl uh, blood steal, life steal. Come on, what's with me? Okay, can we can we kill the big one? Yes, please. Okay, get rid of the annoying ones. No, what is it? What is this? Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh my god! It's really creepy. Dude looks like, uh, you know, covered in honey or whatever. Or just simply golden. Covered in gold. Honey is uh, a bit more funnier, in my opinion. So let's uh, get the whole zone pack. We need the whole zone pack, guys. We just have to go closer. Spider cooking, of course, we need it because we have to slow them down. Spider cooking level 3. Yes. Body pillow. Okay. Many enemies are coming, so we need some defense to keep alive. Level 13. In less than 6 minutes in the run. Okay. That game is just fantastic. I mean... If you like horde survivals, ARPGs, action roguelikes, and maybe anime pick it up it's you know it's a no-brainer crit up increase critical hit chance by three percent of course we need this the more crit the better colors are really great not that flashy by the way the game stated at the beginning that you know really fast scenes flashy stuff if you you know if you encounter any problems quit immediately but I do have a really sensitive eye and it's just, you know, really nicely done. They played much worse stuff. For example, Soulstone Survivors has a few few spells that uh, around the end game is just unbearable. I mean, I, I always play like with eyes closed after a while because it's just pretty brutal. Step one extra time. Forming a V shape, of course, of course we need this. Forming a V-shape is always great. And extra attacks as well. Crocodile and hard hat. Are these like some some inside jokes from different VTubers, right? That I don't get because I don't don't watch any any of them, I guess. There was a Hungarian one which was pretty cringe, so I watched it once and this was pretty bad. Uh headphones, okay. Let's get it. Follows on. Here we go. The delivery. And this is Spider Cooking 4. Cool. Uh Spider Cooking 5. Sure. Let's let's bring it to big levels. Of course I want to, you know, increase the psycho X because it's also a really cool one. There's a great effect. Spins around. Oh. Oh. They were interconnected and, uh, you know, killed one of them and all of them disappeared. Reduce the time between attacks by 15%. Yes, please. Very much please you. Okay. You know, it's a really cheater game. I was in a really good mood when I started, but wow. It's just contagious. Okay, reduce the time between attacks with the Psycho X. But I do feel that uh, the really big boss is going to come at the end of the end of the map, and we will be really sad because it's going to stomp us. Oh, you know, talking about the big boss. Here's the big, uh, you know, skeleton with a club. Okay, get the get the stuff. It's really cool, but you know, because going backwards is basically the same speed as going forward, so... Great one. I thought there there will be a penalty like going backwards, but no. Fortunately, no. This game understands uh, what feels good to play, in my understanding, and it's just extremely great. Ooh, okay, come on. Ooh, ooh, okay. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. No, we have to survive. But this cannot happen. We have a nice life, steal. No, no. 
We have to see more of the map. Is it? Come on, some Patreon donations or whatever. VTubers get Patreon donations? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure they are the same as... Same as uh, others. Just better, of course. I mean, the whole phenomenon of VTubers is just... You know, it's really cool, I mean... I like the, all the face rigging stuff and all the all the stuff that they do. I just, you know, I just generally do not interested in the whole scene. But I'm pretty sure I could find a lot of great ones if I if I want it. Uh, let's let's spin up one more book, additional book. Ooh, now it's uh, getting a bit harder, as it should be. Cool one. Cats. Or what are these? Yeah, cats. Trying to hug us, I guess. Really curious about what other characters we can unlock. For example, if I finish this uh, map. I mean, oh, what is this? <laughs> okay, cute one. I don't want to kill it. But we have to, I guess. Uh oh. Oh, 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 crocodiles in a hard hat. Oh my god, just trying to stay ahead of this cat and uh, let's hope that the AoE damage uh, does what we need to get rid of this. Okay. It's cool that, that because the track is just unseemingly loops. And it's a great one. You cannot feel the, you know, the change between the loops. So it's a great idea. So can I just, you know, why can't I uh, target? Come on, kill this one. There's too many HP. I mean, too much, of course. Oh, yeah! Fubura. Defeat Fu. Oh, no! Fubazilla. Come on. Flash wound. Lose after 10 minutes in a game. Damn it. That was great. You know. Uh, character select. Okay, fan beam. Shoot a powerful laser beam uh, from the microphone. Horizontal only. Just bandage. Increase max HP by 10 after being hit. Heal 10% HP every 3 seconds until 80% of your damage taken. Awesome. Okay. So we were not able to upgrade. Upgrade? Unlock any characters. Mm. But uh, this girl looks really cool with the sword and shield. And we can spend holo coins to unlock. No. No, we have to we have to complete the level first to unlock the stuff. Ooh, nice one. Just a sip of coffee while the enemies are reaching us. Come on, you can kill the statue. Great one. Ooh, nice one. Pretty fast attacks by default, and it has a really nice range, okay? Increase weapon attack speed, haste up, phoenix sword, increase the damage, spider cooking we already know, and uh, just bandage is what we just unlocked, and I think we need some extra health based on the last run. Because, you know, more health is always better. I mean, we got overrun, so maybe not that good, but... Ah, so, okay, so when I see the the hearts coming up doesn't mean that we are getting HP back they just like that we kill them okay cool cool one dancer moving gradually heals up 5% per 5 second and increasing attack by 2 second by 2% every second up to 40 if stopped buff will slowly decrease and we always uh, you know in a move so that's a cool one we are just, you know, gradually blasting this. Chickens. Okay. 
I was pretty sure that we hit them while, you know, just passing through and uh, they did not uh, get damaged. So maybe some targeting, hitbox hitting is uh, not what I think. Okay, Phoenix Shield. Every, f every 10 seconds, gain one stack of Phoenix Shield. The next damage taken is halved and become invulnerable for 0.25 seconds. Yes, please. Cool one. So these are the, you know, the class uh, features of the character we're playing. The Phoenix stuff. So they just die, but uh, try to, you know, squeeze us next to those enemies. It's not really a really nice thing to do. But you know, they are brainwashed. Increased damage, uh, you know, gloss stick. Yeah, increased damage. What I'm going to do now, just, you know, popped out of my head that I'm just going to boost all the main stuff I have, the shield and the attack. When I can. And of course, if I cannot, I will just choose something that sounds cool. But I'm pretty curious if this is a viable stuff to do that, you know, not having other, other, uh, you know, spells ticking on us, just increasing the main ones. Because we're doing really nice damage with the auto attack. That's always cool. By the way, the new Fast Effect side league is starting to be tonight, so I'm pretty excited about it. I'm going to blast a poisonous concoction. I'm not sure if uh, it's going to be, you know, a ranger or a scion. We will see. But I'm pretty excited. No, okay, let's go with the just bandage. So get some HP increased, and then we are gradually getting back some HP as well. Ooh, enemies are coming. Uh, Tailblazer, increase speed by 10%. Leave burning fire underneath uh, Kiara whenever she moves. Uh, that deals 30% damage per hit. Lasts for five, four seconds, five seconds. Reduce the time, the attack time between attacks. Okay, cool. Go, go for it. Let's get the big one because you know it's just going to give us the hollow zone stuff, and we need it. Die already. Come on. We're dealing a really nice amount of damage to you. Thanks. Delivery. Take. Just bandage. Rank 3. Yes. If you're getting damage, that's a pretty nice sound. Bam. It's pretty funny. Can you... Okay. So these cannot be killed, they are just like environmental stuff. Or maybe if you deal enough damage, uh, they will die. Nightly Milk. Increase attack size and knockback effects of weapon by 10%, also increase pickup range by 30. Yes, this one is what we need. I don't count as an extra spell, it's more like a utility one, so it's just you know, increasing the awesomeness of our auto attacks, so. Okay, first when I saw this game uh, on Asmon's channel, I thought, that, okay, this is just going to be a meme. I'm going to make one video and it's not going to be great, but I have to say, this is just tremendous amount of fun. I can see myself playing this a lot. It's just really big sim for all those, uh, all those games as you can see on my channel so okay hit twice per slash come on nice really nice so yeah I have every game that comes out N not every of them because there are too many of them of course but I'm planning to check out most of them And most of them I played were really, really awesome. There were like one or two that was just mid. I mean, not bad at all, just mid. But there are just too many really, really good games out there that are, you know, Horde Survival, Action Roguelike, so it's not easy to, you know, have time for all of those games. And of course, I have two, like, demos I have to check out because, uh, 
you know, the devs contacted me and I still haven't made videos about them, so I have to do this, but just too many good stuff, uh, you know, coming out at the same place. Yesterday's, uh, you know, free epic game uh, was called Black Book and it's a, uh, you know, story-driven card game about a witch in Slavic mythology and it's just really, really cool. I made a video yesterday, check it out, it's uh, up there somewhere or in the description. And yeah, so too many, too many stuff to do. You know, the Pali open beta, Pools of Torment, other new characters uh, getting unlocked, and oh, so I mean, yeah, not, not, I don't want to sound, you know, complaining because this is just really cool, but Phoenix Shield level also now via Vacant. We have an Vacant weapon, so if we, you know, aim for the main one or try to upgrade something as much as we can, it will awaken eventually. Awesome. Glow stick. Throw a glow stick to nearby target and then spin back to the player. Okay, that's a oh, glow stick, nice. Uh, Plug type. Asakoko, what? Fire the fast piercing uh, Tia targeted at a random target. And no, Nightly Milk is going to be my choice this time. Okay. So vacant weapon is just awesome. A little stick, nightly milk. Yes. Ooh, there was another one that uh, we haven't seen. Picky, picky something. Next level up. We, we will check it out if there's there. Phoenix shield. Yes. And then eventually I pick up the tail blazer because it's just you know passive damage to most of the enemies, which is a great one. It also does fire, so. We are blasting this whole fiery phoenix power fantasy with this character, so cool one. And I like swords and shields together, so epic win. Uh, you know, tailblazer, yes. Oh yes, cool one. So now we can do some passive damage to the big one who's following us, cool. They are not too smart and they just, you know, stand in the flames constantly. Cool. Yeah, Blazer. Uber Sheep. Every 10 seconds, food will drop close by. Also, increase uh, food drop chance from defeated targets by 10%. Ooh, that sounds really great. But, Tail yeah, Blazer. Okay. This is really cool. Now, can we, you know, defeat the the furry the furzilla without dying immediately? Delivery. Ooh, three of them. Wow. The microphone, the glow stick, and uh, something. Okay. Now that's that's all about the getting only those skills because we, you know, we got granted stuff. Oh no. Uh, they will. Oh, okay. We can kill them separately. Great. Can you just stop existing? Thank you. This track kind of reminds me of the electro swing genre, which is I'm not a big fan of, but I wouldn't you know listen to it by myself. But it's just you know, it's undoubtedly really cool. Gain max HP for every f six points of total max HP. Increase damage of main weapon on special attacks by one percent. Sure. Why not? Okay, I do feel like that uh, a big boss is going to come really soon. That we haven't killed uh, the big skeleton. I'm not sure if uh, we have, you know, the same same layout every time. But uh, yeah, game one, uh, the sand crit buff, of course. Drink some sake. Cool one. Okay. Now they are getting tougher. So maybe some uh, Louis loot would be great. And also getting those XP's, Piki Piki Piman. Okay. Oh, here's the big one. Cool. Okay. So can I just, you know, 
stay ahead of him and continuously hit him with uh, big damage. Seems like. Oh, and the shield is working. Great. Really great. So we almost screwed up here last time. Okay. Now the horde is stopped, so... Try to work ourselves, you know, backwards. Because we have to take down the boss. Am I right? Okay, a uh, sucker. Increase some. Oh, oh, it's already done. Awesome. So let's get the delivery. But first, uh, glow stick. And this is... Peaky Peaky Piman, level 3. Cool, so every stuff on level 5, is it going to be a vacant? Or just want something really big? Sometimes the targeting is, uh, is pretty interesting by the... So wait, wait a second, no, I am just an idiot. Okay, glow stick. So I don't have to hold down the mouse, I just have to click it once and then spin it around. Oh man, I played whole the wrong time. Thanks to my ARPG, you know, experiences. You know, I have to click everything, have to hold down the mouse button, of course. Why wouldn't I have to hold down the mouse button? And just, you, can, you can just, you know, toggle and untoggle the attacks. Oh man, great one. Chicken do, achievement get, okay. Uh, body pillow, Psycho X, suck a level three. Okay, so turns out this game has some uh, nice quality of life features, so you don't have to hold down the stuff. And yeah, okay, it makes moving around much easier, okay. I am just a boomer, cool. So can we kill? Kill the first Zilla now, without dying immediately? Let's hope so. Elite Lava Bucket. Drop lava on the ground, burning targets slowly. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Really hope that we... Oh, yeah. Yes, we need this. Um, no way to reroll, so... Fan beam. Uh, glow stick free. I mean, one additional stuff. Five, I mean. Ooh, we killed it. Great. So, uh, fan beam. Okay, let's toggle the attack back, open the delivery, which is glow stick, okay. So not everything is getting ascended at level 5. Glow stick level maximum. Okay, maxed out the glow stick. Cool. Looks like we are throwing lightsabers. It's really cool. Okay. No, what, what are these? Mouses? Mice? Mouses? Oh my god, okay. I have to have to do something with my brain. Mice. Yes. I'm not sure if I understand the specific choice of these enemies. Maybe you know some inside jokes, some some stuff that uh, most VTuber fans would understand immediately. So if you happen to know why these enemies are there, like this mice or whatever, the Furzilla or stuff like that, please, please let me know in the comments. I am dying to know. Because I like to, you know, understand stuff, dive deep into stuff and, uh, you know, understanding different subcultures more and more is just something I am really enjoying, so. If you have the time or the means, Please, it would be great. What are these? Okay, they look like some kind of Pokemon, but no. Okay, Lava Bucket. Ooh, we are level 33, cool. Okay. I'm not sure 
is the timer going to run out or not sure what's going to happen. Or the big boss is coming. But it seems like we we're doing pretty great. Don't want to jinx it or anything. You know, based on host of torments, one you know round lasts for like oh 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 these are clocks. Ah uh, okay. You know, I wasn't able to identify it. Ooh, there's an anvil, a glowing anvil. Ooh, we have to get it. I'm pretty sure that will give us. Oh, oh no no, I don't want to die. Give us something really great. Come on. Don't deny my anvil. <laughs> upgrade. Uh, you know, let's upgrade. Uh, oh, we can we can spend money on the upgrade. Success. A vacant one. Oh, okay. Use an anvil and then weapon once. Fan beam. Uber sheep. You know, let's get some food because it seems like things are getting a bit hotter. So why clocks? Because, I don't know, getting up in the morning is sucks, no, I'm not sure. Okay, delivery, ooh, three of them, great, of course, let's all of them, and let's get, get the lava bucket. Nice, you know, spinning three lightsabers at the same time, full meal. Yes, we have to eat normally key part of uh, surviving. Tog skeletons with uh, clubs. Cool. Doing the tail blazing, really great, looks really great. And also muscle, take total of uh, damage in one game. Okay, we already took, we already taken like 500 damage. Cool. Sounds great. Get a burger. Need it. Can, can I? Okay, sure. Okay, okay. Whiskey stuff. Nice. So, you know, throw free lava buckets, of course. Now we are fully doing the. You know, the fire one. Oh, big one with an axe, a big lizard, or more like kobold. Oh, two, two of these bosses at the same time. Okay. Can we, can we tackle them? That's the big question. We're just backtracking, backpedaling, more likely. Okay. Seems like one is down. Let's just, you know, turn back because we need the loot, of course. Yes. Three, three of them once again. Four. Okay. Kill the other one as well. Uh, lava bucket maximum level. Yes. Delivery. And we have the uber sheep. So now more food is spawning. Ooh, here's the magnet. Getting some nice levels. Fan beam, level six. Uh, Uber sheep, level five. Mm, pick up range increase. Okay. Wow, wow, what are these? Wow, okay. Owls, some kind of fruit. Come on. Stop hitting me. You have to complete the level. Ooh, clocks. Army of clocks. Uh oh. Can we? Okay. We just, you know, we just break through the army of clocks. That's the that's the way, I guess. Okay. Pretty nice decimation. The 
end mode. But I'm in the endless mode. It sounds pretty brutal. It's already, you know, really cool to play, but the endless one is just. Yeah, it sounds a bit tiring. What is this? Okay, oh, another anvil. Collab. Oh, we can put stuff together. Wow. Collab glow stick and the stuff is light beam. Throw glow sticks that explode into targeted beams. No. <laughs> okay. Great imagination. Yes, okay. Okay, and they look much better than normally. Ooh. Angry fruit with a mustache. Pretty fierce. Can we kill it? Yes, hopefully. I mean, we're getting not too much damage, but if I, you know, just misstep once, I'm pretty sure we, we will get, like, I don't know, decimated. Hamburger, whoa, oh, 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 oh. no, I, I wanted to read the, you know, the achievement. Mm, this one. Another anvil as well. Ooh, big, big somethings. No, no, no. I wanted to get the ember. Rip. Okay, game over. Main menu. Chicken's feather. Gain one revive. On revive, instantly heal 50% HP and all known boss targets are defeated. Wow. Blacksmith's gear. Normal anvils can be used twice. Only applies to anvils uh, since taking this item. Cost of ancient. Uh, enhancing is reduced by 20% and unveils appear 20% more often. Breastplate reduces damage taken by 25% and speed by 10%. Oh, when attacked, there is a 50% chance the attacker also takes 200% damage. Awesome. I mean, <laughs> guys, this is a free horse survival game that, you know, revels around VTubers and all the cool stuff, and it's just extremely fun you know it's colorful it's it's clanky it's janky it's it's you know it's uh, quirky other stuff like that you know if you like the genre or even like anime manga vtubers fan games funny stuff check out holo cure link in the description it's totally free on steam came out yesterday if you like the video or the content of the channel please consider subscribing giving a nice thumbs up to the video and drop some comments for the algorithm gods. Thank you and see you really, really soon.